Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss some effective strategies which you can use to navigate layoffs in 2023. With the recent fall of SVB and the situation of recession getting worse, it is imperative to understand how to navigate layoffs and to be prepared for a layoff happening at a particular company. So with that in mind, let's start off with the session for the day. This video is divided into two parts. In the first part, we are going to understand some effective strategies which you can follow to prevent getting laid off in the first place from a company and in the second half we are going to understand some strategies which you can follow in the event that layoffs start happening at your company. So with that in mind let's start off with the first half of our video which is to understand how to prevent getting laid off and be retained in the company. So the first tip for this is to be up to date with latest technologies and trends which are happening in your area of expertise. Be sure to make, keep yourself updated and know the various trends which are happening in your area because this will make you much more valuable into the company and will increase the chances of you being retained into a particular company. The second tip is to build strong relationship with your colleagues. The reason for this is if you have strong relationship with your colleagues then you can effectively weather layoffs as a team and also make sure that in the event of layoffs you are able to help each other to manage layoffs and search for new jobs much better together instead of searching them individually. The third tip for the day is to remain proactive. So instead of the company asking for you to what needs to be done, if you are proactive and take initiative to understand the various areas of improvements which can happen in a particular project or a particular area in the company and provide your inputs, then you may be considered as a proactive employee and increase your chances of retention. Also make sure to diversify your skills. The reason for this is if a particular skill is somewhat uh, not in demand and if you are able to or if you have domain experience in different fields it increases your chances of finding a new job much higher and having various expertise in different stacks helps you to weather layoffs in a much better manner because you are much more versatile and also you are much more valuable to current company as well. Also make sure to deliver high quality work at your current workplace because if you are a star performer at the company that reduces your chances of getting laid off much more. Make sure to network with different individuals in your area that is you can attend various industry wide events and network with different people who are in your area of expertise so that you have a better network in which you can follow on if an uh, event of layoff happens. Now let's come to the second half of the video which is to how to navigate the event of layoff and what to do when layoffs start happening at your company. So the first thing to keep in mind in this case is to make sure that you have a doc in place in which you have all your, your achievements, contributions and feats which you have achieved in a company ready. The reason for this is if you get laid off, you will have all the points ready which you can explain to your prospective employer to make them understand that you are a good employee and you are making valuable contributions to the company and the uh, impact of layoff may not have much effect on the actual interview which is happening for your next job. Make sure to keep your resume updated before getting laid off. The reason for this is if you have an updated resume beforehand, you will be in a much better sense of, sense of mind and in the much better state of mind to pre create a resume which is much more effective while finding a new job. After getting laid off, you might not be in the right state of mind to build a resume which might be impactful to a prospective employers because the first thing which you need after getting laid off is to send a resume to various employers. So make sure to keep your resume updated as far as possible. Also make sure to keep giving interviews even before layoff happens and be in touch with interviewers. The reason for this is it is not easy to crack an interview and only after practice can you make sure that you have a much better strategies and terminologies and practice in place to crack interviews. So do not stop giving interviews at any point of time and keep giving interviews to remain in practice of clearing interview rounds. Also make sure to have a second source of income if possible. The reason for this is if you get laid off and if you are not able to generate income from your primary source of income, having a secondary source of income will make sure that you at least have some sense of support to manage your daily expenses, which comes to our next point, which is to have a rainy day fund. So make sure that you have enough savings to be able to manage your expenses for the next few months, at least for the next six months or a year, so that when the event of layoff happens, you at least have savings and you are not in a panic mode to like find a new job and you are not in a financial crunch because if you are in a financial crunch the decisions that you make while finding the new job may get severely impacted and you might not be in the right state of mind to find a new company. 
so make sure that you have a amount which is ready and you have a amount in your savings account which is equivalent to your six months or year of net worth of salary and you are able to manage your expenses within that or at least if not equivalent to salary so at least enough that you are able to manage your expenses for the next six months or a year this will help you navigate through layoff in a much effective manner so that's it from my end for today for the strategies which you can follow to weather the layoffs in, in this year make sure to have a positive attitude of mind because layoff might not be the because you underperform it might be because various factors which happen at a company and you are not personally responsible for a event of a layoff happening also be resilient and be persistent and do not lose hope when an event of layoff happens and stay positive and be prepared for layoffs that's it from my hand for today thank you and goodbye have a nice day